This is a 40 watt laser module. Today I'm going to unbox this module, set it up and test it on different materials to show you how it works. So let's get started. Once you order it, you will receive it in this box along with the connecting wire. The laser operates on 12 volts and is rated for 40 watts. I am using this 5 amp power supply to power it. I have attached this laser to my 2D pen plotter and converted into a laser engraving machine. The laser requires a PWM signal to operate. I am using this MKS DLC32 Wi-Fi CNC control board to control the laser head. Before powering it on, do not forget to wear proper safety equipment as the laser beam can cause permanent damage to the eye. Upon powering it on, you can see a laser marker on the surface. The laser also has a protective glass magnetically attached to it, which avoids any reflections from the laser. It also has a cooling fan above the heat sink. You can use laser gerbil to operate the laser. Once you power it on, you will notice that the laser won't burn the surface below while standing still as it has a built-in motion sensor which activates the laser only while in motion. The manufacturer also has this chart which shows how the laser can work on various surfaces. The laser can basically be used for two purposes, for engraving or for cutting. I used the laser on various materials and found out that the laser can engrave on almost any surface. It can cut materials such as MDF, wood and acrylic up to 3mm thick for which it requires multiple passes on slower speeds. The laser cannot cut through transparent material as the optical light directly passes through it. The laser has a fixed focus at about 3mm depth. Overall this is a pretty good laser which can be used for small engraving or cutting jobs but it is a bit slower if considered for cutting and takes multiple passes to cut through. I would recommend this laser if you are looking for something small and cheap and easy to install and operate, unlike a CO2 laser which is a completely different league. That's all for today and if you liked the video, consider to like, share and subscribe. Leave a comment on what you think about this and thanks for watching.